the street term for a thousand pills of ecstasy is a boat. You can make anywhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars with these pills. And the suspect said that in order for him to sell that much, he needs to bring his source of supply with him because there's that much money involved. And if these guys are dealing in boats of ecstasy and this amount of money, there's going to be some folks there that's going to show up with guns besides us. All right, we're going to be doing a UC live. The plan is Chris is supposed to meet our UC. The other suspect is going to drive in. Best case scenario is uh, Chris gets in the car. This suspect comes up and does the deal, and then we'll bust him out. The guy was real cool with the undercover last time. The last time when this guy had the gun, he carried it in his waistband. So he, although he says he's not going to bring it, but that's where he had it last time. Hey, what's going on? How are things looking? Just so I got this straight, I'm meeting you and then your boy's coming to us? Okay, cool. So, uh, price is still good at 55, right? Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. What he said was, he'll just come see me and, uh, get the money, go up to the car and do it that way. Just keep the tight string on that cash. It's gonna get messed up. It's gonna be messed up with that money. Okay. All right? You ready? When we're dealing with dope dealers, anything's possible but when we're dealing with two dope dealers and then one guy who doesn't trust the other one and they've been robbing each other they're carrying guns the potential for a problem is magnified okay a girl should be uh, entering the lot here off the uh from the south side she'll be traveling south to north she's gonna be pumping a call into the crook here pretty quick and hopefully we'll uh we'll get the ball rolling on this deal they're close. Uh, Chris is in a white Chevy Vail, and the main guy should be uh, on his way also. Okay, per our girl, there's three people in the uh, Chevy Vail, three people in the car. Parked in front of the van, uh, just north of that gray van. Chris is coming up to uh, car. It's a white Mustang. Yeah. Let's go now. See you soon, bro. What's up? What's up? I have a usual guy, but then he he kept telling me six, and I was like, hey, you know, can you do it for 55? And they're like, yeah, I can do it for 55, no problem. Hey, we think we're still waiting on the main supplier, Mike, so uh, we'll see what happens if he's got the D or not. This guy right here, I just met him. There he is. I met him at a rave once. I used to have a car like that. It's like a Trans Am. Silver Trans Am. It's parked nose in to our girl. Can you do me a favor? Like, go get me a sample at your spine. Make sure it's okay. I don't know if he'll do that. He might get sketched, like he really might. Well, but, dude, last time I got ripped off for 30, so... Oh, no, no, these are these are way two different people. Oh, I know, I know, but he'll understand. I'll go you know I got the money. You know I do, so you've seen it. Oh, uh, the UC told him last time she was ripped off, so she doesn't want to give up the money. All right, it's coming back. Um, he just said that I was like, she wants a sandwich. He said, you know what, I'll just go deal with her. So that's him. His name's Mike. Okay. I guess he's just going to come see you. Hold on. So I'll see you next time. All right, I'll call you. All right. Thanks, man. Sounds like our main guy is getting in our girl's car. He's got a uh, black briefcase. Hey. What's up? How's it going? It's good. Lisa. Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Yeah, they You're a Chris, they, too? They call me Matt. Cool, cool. So do you actually have the cash for it? I do have the cash for it. Yeah. Do you have my stuff? Yes, I do. All right. Can I take a peek and I'll get you your cash? Uh, what do you, uh, how many are you looking for? You got a thousand? The boat? Yeah. You got a cop, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not a cop. I gotta ask. You know what I'm saying? I'm hell <laughs> Watch for the runner. He's got his foot outside the car. I'm just gonna do it like this. Just give me your money. Just give me your money? I'm not kidding. You. Okay, well, it's in the trunk. Huh? No, it's in your purse. Give me the money. Dude, what is this? Give me the money and I don't have to do it. Or I can just take your whole purse. It sounds like he's ripping her. Move in. You got 50 seconds. All right, yeah. Take the whole purse? Take the whole purse. Whatever, right. dude. Get that veil, stop! They gave me, they, sir, they, I'm just saying, sir, they gave, me a, they gave me a gun and told me if I didn't do it that they were going to kill me. I promise you, sir. They told me that they were going to kill me. They think they're going to kill me. I'll tell you exactly who it was, sir, I promise you. Oh, he's saying that he was forced to do it. He's out here crying like a baby, you know, and uh, 
Uh, we took down the secondary vehicle just around the block from here, and everything went down safe. Everybody's cool. I know Chris. He was just like, hey, can you do me a favor? I was like, yeah. He's like, run me a Smith. He said he was just going to buy a couple grams a week, and that was it. And then when I get in the car, he pulls a gun on me, tells me straight up, he goes, um, you're going to do this for me. He's like, I will kill you. He's like, I know where you live, everything like that. I didn't want to go through with it at all, sir. I really didn't. I was scared out of my mind. Sorry. Sorry to cuss at you. I'm really sorry. When did they pull the gun on you and tell you to do that? About 30 minutes ago, sir. 40 About minutes ago. Okay. What are they saying? Our main guy, Chris, basically admits the whole thing. Says that he had to deal with our UC for the boat. Couldn't come up with it. Came down here, explained it to the suspect that's over there, the guy that tried to rob our UC. Explained the situation. He said, well, let's just rob her then and get all the money. He said that? Yeah. How old are you? 17. 17. What were you guys thinking, man? We just wanted to make some money. Just wanted to make some money. It didn't matter how you're going to do it. You're just going to rob a girl. It didn't matter, right? And you understand now she's a police officer? Yes, sir. All right. You're going to be looking at a whole lot of charges, kid. Good luck. The gun, was it loaded at all? Um, well, it had seven in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. Nothing in the chamber? Okay. Cool. Sounds good. We appreciate you helping us. No problem. He's going to go to jail. Uh, he's got a list of uh, felonies he's going to be facing now. Armed robbery, conspiracy to commit armed robbery. Uh, he's actually going to go for the conspiracy to uh, sell narcotics, because even though he didn't bring it, he agreed to do the deal, and he showed up for that. Uh, he was carrying a concealed weapon uh, on him. Um, he wasn't a felon prior to this, but tonight, you know, he's going to be in that category starting right now.